It came up on our YouTube channel today. How do you measure an angle if your protractor doesn't have a hole in the middle? Well, luckily we had a couple lying around. Let's start with the small one. I like the small one because you're trying to measure angles in a book or on a test. It's smaller and so it doesn't take up as much room to try and get everything lined up. But it doesn't have a hole where to guide us. So that means the key is we have to line everything up at zero degrees. So we want this bottom ray to cross our protractor at zero degrees. That's what we're looking for to figure out where to put our protractor. It has to cross at zero degrees. And when we do that, we see that this little arc here in the middle and then this line here is where we're going to line up our vertex. So our bottom ray crosses along the bottom of our protractor. This lines up pointing to our vertex and then we can see this acute angle crosses at 70 degrees. So this small angle is worth 70 degrees. Now this bigger protractor on the other hand is a little more complicated. We can see that there's a little indent here in the middle with a line. So that could mean we line up here along the inside or it could mean we line up here along the bottom. And if we look here at the end, here's zero degrees. Well, here's 350 and over here, here's 180 and here's 190. So this angle measures beyond a straight line. Again, the key is looking to see where this base ray is going to cross at zero degrees. So when we line up our protractor, here's zero degrees. So as we do that, we can see that means we're going to line up on the inside of our protractor this time. This crosshair is going to point to where our vertex goes. Our base ray is going to line up here along the inside of our protractor. Now we can see we have an obtuse angle here, so we can come around and read, and this angle is worth 110 degrees. So how you line up your protractor really depends on which protractor you're using. The key is to start by lining up your bottom ray so that it crosses at zero degrees.